Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here we are again. Find ourselves back at the point where we're going to start a new series today. Calling it the California Chronicles. I just got back from LA yesterday. Was out there for a minute. Some crazy shit had happened to me, so thought, you know, might as well hop back on the U little YouTube thing. Some fresh content, current content, all that fun stuff. Before we get into it, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notifications, all that corny ass YouTuber shit. Trying to get to 2K subs at some point, so, you know, run them numbers up, baby. All right, so, I was in California for, like, <coughs> oh, fuck. I was in California for, like, a week and a half, and literally, as soon as I landed, shit was crazy. So, this is just the first day. Uh, let, me, let me paint the scene for you. So, my flight was early. I'm talking about, I had to get to the airport. My flight was boarding at, like, 10 a.m. type shit. And I'm like an hour and a half from the airport, so I had to get up at like 7-ish, which is early when you stay up late as fuck like I was doing for a second there. So, I don't even think I slept, really. So, I just, I packed my shit. I, dr I think, I, yeah, I drove there, parked my car in the parking, and then uh, fucking went up to the lot, or the uh, airport. And y'all know, Colorado airport, Denver airport, Denver airport is ridiculous, bro. <laughs> if y'all ever been through that bitch, you know, it's the weirdest shit. So I was like trying to find, I was in the, it, whatever, it, it was complicated. I found the airport, door to the plane, all that shit was good. Um, I had actually gotten upgraded to first class too, so I was vibing. <laughs> I had just turned 21 too, so I ordered myself a little fucking <laughs> vodka orange juice, you know. I was like, yeah, fuck it, gonna have a good trip, celebrate, <laughs> I drank one sip of it, and I was like, this shit is nasty as fuck, I brought the lean out, you know how it go, but, uh, so while I'm on the plane, I'm like hitting everyone up in California, seeing what they're doing, and my man hits me up, he's like, you need a ride, and I was like, fuck yeah, I'll take a ride, and at the time, I thought I had a rental car, but you'll see what happens, so I was like, you maybe just drive me to the rental car place or whatever, because it's kind of far from the airport, so he's like, yeah, yeah, for sure, I'll pick you up, so I land, He's there waiting for me. Slides BMW 7 Series. I was like, this is the best Uber I ever had. <laughs> He's like, yeah, bet. So we look up, and I didn't know this, but you guys know Hertz is going out of business, the rental car place? So when you look up Hertz by, when you're in LAX, it comes up with like three different places. Only one of them actually is a Hertz. And so we went to all three before we got to the real one. And I go in the real one, long ass line, and the people are like, um, and I had booked the car online before, you know, so I was just like expecting to go get some keys and just be on the way But they're like, yeah, let me see your ID blah blah blah, all this and they're like, um, well You actually got to be 25 for us to get the insurance on the car that you got and I was like, what? Like, why would you not tell me that online? And they're like, well, you can still like pay like a huge fucking massive amount of money or blah blah, blah. I was like, get the fuck out of here I literally just grabbed my card and my ID out of the girl's hand and just turned around and walked out Got in my homie's car, I was like, yeah, because he was telling me, he was like, bro, you might get fucked, like, Hurt's been tripping here, I was like, really? And I don't believe you, and I went in and got fucked, so I went out, he's just laughing, he's like, I told you, bro, I was like, god damn it, so, we rolled up a little blunt for the drive to his house, it was some, I believe, Zoo Gotti, Zoo something, Zoo Unsurdly Exotic, that shit was 40% THC, y'all ever seen some of those 40% THC? I hadn't, I never did. I was like breaking it down. I was like breaking down a boulder, bro. I felt like I was Superman smashing that bitch down with my hand. Boom, boom, boom. Fucking God, it was so rock solid. It was like one and a half nugs. It was an entire huge ass backwood. Roll that shit up. And he's, bear in mind, he's driving. And we're, LAX is pretty much not in a great area. And on top of that, where this Hertz was, was even a worse area. So we're in this nice ass car with <laughs> dark tints driving around. And, um,. You know, it was only a matter of time until what happened next happened, but we were smoking, big ass dope. I had come to purchase some organic blueberries from my mans, so he had those in the car with me too, but I had them in my possession at this point, so we're driving around, take a ride around this block to almost get onto the freeway, and boop, and he was like, are these people pulling me over right now? I was like, what? Because I didn't even see the cop, and there was, boom, two cop cars right behind us, like the big ass ones, and I was like, oh, fuck. And uh, they pull us over, and he's like, don't worry, we'll be good. <laughs> the cop comes over, he's like, roll the window down, and we roll the window down, and it was literally, like, out of, like, a Scooby-Doo movie, where the, like, the smoke forms, like, a shape or something. It looked like he was getting punched in the face by the smoke coming out of this window. There was so much smoke, and he's like, so, uh, do you guys know why I pulled you over today? 
And he was like, no, officer, I really don't. Was I speeding? He was like, get out of the car, please. <laughs> or no, he asked us for license registration first, blah, blah, blah. And then he's like, please get out of the car, turn off the engine. And I was like, oh, shit, because I had never really been pulled out of a car before. No, I have. That's a lie. But what happened next, I hadn't had happen. So the guy um, who's on the other, there was two cops, one on his side, one on my side. The other guy looks at me, he's like, you get out too. I was like, for real? Okay, for one and do shit. But I get out of the car, and they're just like, my homie's talking to the cops, and then they're like, please put your hands behind your back. And I was like, what? For what? And he's like, we just, you know, we're not detaining you. We're not arresting you. We just need to be safe. And I was like, uh, okay. And I look at my homie. He's just like, let's just, you know, let's just go with it. And so I was like, all right, bet. So we both get handcuffed. But we don't get, like, slammed against the car or anything. We're just still just, like, standing there. And he's like, do you have any weapons in the car or anything? And, blah, blah. and we're like, nope, no, sir, no weapons. And they're like, okay, for sure. So... We're just standing there. We're talking to the cop. The cop we're talking to who pulled me out of the car was actually a nice guy. We were just making conversation. He was like, oh, this is a nice car. Is this your car? He's like, yeah, sir. This is BMW 7 Series 2020, all this. He's like, oh, yeah, nice. I got an old M3. They're great cars. And he was like, yeah, very good. I was like, you know, BMW is the ultimate driving machine. And we all had a chuckle out of that and everything. And we were just kind of talking to him. And the cops are tearing this car up. I'm talking about, like, the back where the spare tire is under the carpet. Like, they fucking threw that bitch up, didn't even put it back down. Like, fucking took the spare tire out, rolled that bitch around. Like, it was insane, bro. We were probably standing... And we were still just standing there on the sidewalk with our hands cuffed, and, like, all the cars were driving past, like, looking at us. <laughs> we were just smiling. And me and my boy were just cracking jokes and shit, because we didn't... Like, we didn't have a gun. We didn't have shit. We were just chilling. Like, they didn't, they didn't really have any cause to pull us over, but, you know, the weed, I guess, which... In California, you can't really do it off the smell of weed i think but they saw smoking weed so it was whatever anyways finally the guy comes out and he's like what's this and he's holding a pint and he's like oh i got a prescription for that in my crib and he's like oh, okay puts the pint down and he's like opens up this like um you know there's like paint buckets from home depot the orange ones he opens it up and there's just a pound of weed in there he's like how much weed is this and my friend's like three ounces and he's like Looks about right and puts it back down and the <laughs> finished searching the car, bro. And I just look at my homie, he just looks at me and he's just saying, you know, we're like kinda of talking to each other in our heads now. He's like, keep it cool, we're gonna be okay. And so we just keep talking to the other cop and you know, we're just trying to make it through. And eventually the cops who are searching the car are like, Alright, well we found pills, prescription bottle, weed, but to be honest with you guys, we were looking for weapons and stuff, and we really have bigger fish to, fish to fry here, because as I said, it was in Inglewood, where there was a lot more serious shit happening than two people riding around smoking their car. Well, they couldn't even prove we were smoking in the car, like I guess we could, but they, they could have not been driving when we smoked, like, you know, so. Anyways, we're gonna let you guys go, blah, 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 so they, un <laughs> they fucking, um... They uncuff us, right? But the cuffs had been, like, soaked because I got skinny-ass wrists. So I think they pushed it to, like, the smallest setting, which was way too small for my wrists. So it was, like, I would <laughs> – there was, like, these huge red circles around my wrists, bro. And I <laughs> – I was, like, trying to go about the rest of my day. And every time I went anywhere, people were, like, did you just get handcuffed? And I was, like, yeah. You know me. And they're, like, are you good? And I was, like, no, I'm on the run. <laughs> no, I'm fine. But anyways – so yeah, cops let us go, didn't even get a ticket. And like, you know, have a great day, stay safe, all that. And we were like, yeah, nice meeting you guys, have a good day. And we got back in the car and uh, we waited for them to drive off first. And then we dro drove off, got on the freeway. And uh, my homies was like, that was crazy. Like, I totally forgot I even had that shit in the car. I was like, no way. And he's like, yeah. So we really, we really got a solid done there by the LA Police Department. But I think there's just so much shit happening in LA that, uh, you know, they, like, they, it's like they said, they had bigger fish to fry. What the fuck were they finna do with us? So, anyways, um, the funniest part was my homie has, like, this sick-ass, uh, like, bust-down ring. And they, like, look at it, and he's like, where'd you get that ring from? He's like, oh, it was, I inherited it. It was handed down to me. <laughs> and he had his chain on, too, but he tucked it under his hoodie, so I didn't even see that. But, yeah. So, we get to his house about 30 minutes later, and that's where some other crazy shit happens, too. But that's where we're gonna end this episode, guys. If you liked, please comment, you know. Like it, comment, subscribe, notice, all that. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I'll see you later. Peace.